Man, am I hungry. Let's run through my options. Pork beef. Goodell's brand steaks. Meat loaf. Mango cone. Bird's eye. Pig on the loose eggs. Beef chops. Roasted independent wheat pizza. Sizzling chip sauce. Lobster and gyroscopic cream pie. Lit beef. Chicken bone soup. Spinach. Simba pork sandwich. Thai steak surprise. Seafood and squid cocktail. Common ketchup. No, wait, no, no, what was the, what was the last one? Common ketchup. Oh, no, no, the one before it. Uh, seafood and squid cocktail? Yeah, well, yeah, give me one of those. All right. <gasps> Greetings, uh, today, we're gonna be making seafood and squid cocktail. Uh, machine learning artificial intelligence has told us what to do. Well, I asked it to give me a list of food items and uh, seafood and squid cocktail, obviously the best. So we're gonna, we're gonna, it, yeah, we're gonna take a look. We're told gonna it give me a recipe and we're gonna, it, we have to do what it told us to. We're gonna follow to the letter. We've gotten the exact ingredients it asked for. We've gotten the recipe here. We got the alcohol it requested. We're gonna um, we're gonna put it together and we're gonna taste test it for you guys and we're gonna see if artificial intelligence really is ready to take over the world yet. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. It's 500 milliliters Appleton rum. Now, if I remember correctly, when you went to Total Wine to purchase this, the recommendation was to not purchase this. Is that correct? Yeah, he said you yeah. should try something else. Measure out the Appleton rum. Wait. put together how much alcohol this wanted. It wants like almost the whole thing. I was gonna say, what is the 750, right? 100 milliliters? I didn't realize. This rum is from 1749. Here. Exactly 500 milliliters. It's two cups. Okay, so we need two lines, right? Hand squishing this shit. Unfortunately, the limes are dry. So we've prepared two tablespoons All of right. lime juice. Time for a half pint of water. Yeah, one half of... How much is a half, half pint in milliliters? Half cup? Ounces? One pint is two cups. Okay. Oh! Signature filtered water. I haven't replaced the filter in like a year. All right, we need juice of half a lemon. Where's the lemon? Imported. You felt this lemon? Smooth. Why? <laughs> Make sure you sand it down. <laughs> this specified two tablespoons of lime juice yet specified physically half a lemon. Five prawns. The prawn job. You're taking over the prawn job. The prawns. Ah! Cooked. These are frozen. Yeah. These prawns have been de-beaked and are completely harmless. The worst they might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitlessly, of course. Please put them in. Should I microwave these to warm them up? Are they still frozen? They're shattering in my hands, actually. Remember, folks, de-thaw your meat. Let's just microwave first. them. No. Cook them on the grill. No. Thawed enough to shell. Do we have like a Crash shell? can. Yeah. Uh, can we bring over like the shell? In the, the shell box. Um, let's get the shell box out. Yeah. Okay. Five. Prawns, shell, and de That looks like four and a half. You can recycle glass containers full of pasta sauce and prawn shells, right? Next item. Next. Um, half pound of squid. This isn't squid, this is calamari. Calamari is squid. Oh, well, that's what, I think you needed to get like, like a whole squid. How many ounces are in a pound? These are solid. How am I, how are we supposed to cut these? <laughs> Those are great questions. Take yours out. 8.254. There we go. One half prawn chopped. Just a just a quick peek into the twisted the twisted image that is my reality. Let's remember practice to proper and a new uh, knife. I also have other knives. Did you just buy that? One fresh red chili sliced. Um this is a green chili I bought four weeks ago that I realized today turned red. Look at what sliced is. Great. Whatever. What's next? Juice of one lime. Can't like, I can't. Well, I hope I get one right. lime of juice out of this. Oh, this. Did nice. you just use the squid knife on that? 
One garlic clove finely sliced. Let me show you guys a neat trick I learned when my sister and I were cooking once on the best way to get the skin off of garlic. The garlic pod has been successfully broken. Now you can easily remove the skin. We've uh, extracted the nutrients from the garlic. Yes. What's next? We got uh, three tablespoons of castor sugar. No, no, no. Now here's an important lesson. Castor sugar is granulated sugar. This cane sugar is granulated white. And the pink color, you can tell. I don't know why we have Freshly chopped coriander to garnish. Garnish one, I know I wasn't a fan of this green shit. Does that put leaves on the plants? It just tastes like soap to you or something? No, or it, just, it just, I didn't like the texture. Like, why am I eating a leaf? I'd be biting it I like... put those in a bowl of raw and ate them. Something's wrong with you. What? Oh. You Take the still these away. Why? What are they? You don't eat them. Why? Stem. You don't eat the sticks. Take a bite. Ah! Lemon juice in the cut. Yeah. You should put it in the comments on. below if you too are bleeding. Use hashtag I am bleeding. All right. We now. We'll move on to the method. All right, well now that we've got all of our ingredients together here, and you can see we've got them separated in the little containers, uh, we'll clean it up, we'll get it ready for the next segment. You can see us put all this together. See you guys after these messages. Will Matt Rob? Could Matt Rob? Who? <laughs> all right, welcome back everyone, welcome back everyone, welcome back to our cooking show. What's the name? So there's a muddle the sugar, garlic, lime juice, and water in a shaker tin. Wait. Huh? So the mixer for this cocktail is water. Yeah. Oh, I think all the sugar in here. What else in there? All the water. Wait a minute. This isn't gonna fit in the shaker. When you are making a cocktail so big you can't fit it in one. One way to do it is you get the ingredients, you mix about half of it in one, and you mix half, you know, you mix half the other, and you mix the ingredients together. So that's what we're gonna do. Explain to the folks at home what muddling is. Oh, I forgot to do the muddling part. So when you fun. muddle something, you uh, take the dry ingredients and you crush them in there with the uh, shake to mix. Strain into a chilled coupe glass. Coupe cup or glass. Cut the prawns in half and add to the glass. Add to the glass, all right. Add the chili and a squeeze of lime juice. Luckily we've pre-squeezed the lime. The liquid with the juice. So the second part is we've got to go over to the stove And we need to put a small non-stick frying pan on medium heat. All right. We're in the new phase of uh, the step, or the method. Add the sea salt flakes and black pepper. It doesn't say how, so I guess it's just to taste. Right here, I have other ingredients right here. Well, they made pepper grinders like this. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find the item labeled sea salt flakes anywhere. I've but never heard of sea salt flakes. However, these are sea salt uh, chunks. That's, That's good. Stop. Put a small non-stick frying pan into the squid. Wait. Add prawns. Prawns. And Squid. Yes. Cook them for a couple of minutes each side until they are cooked through. Cook one each side, whatever. Put them in each side of the chop. Well, I, maybe it's a squid. I don't know. Uh, wait, where's the? Do we have like a? Yeah. Tongs, yep, spatula. Yep, yep. Put the put this put the squid in there. Pour them in. Squid. The uh, meal appears to be living and breathing. Oh, it's the acid in the. Uh, it's the salt. Salt. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just like the soy sauce stuff. Are they cooked through? Thinly sliced. Thinly. Man, 
end, just a dash. There we go. Whoops, drop one of those slippy little buggers. Where is that down there? Ah. All right, now that we've cooked up our shrimp, prawns, our squid, let's go on to the last step. Yeah, I think this is you know, looking really good. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's coming together. I, I think it might have mixed up the prawns that it wanted us to use, but you know what? Hey, we got here, let's see what's going on. All right, here's the last sip. Pop the cocktail with the mixture and chili and garnish with coriander. It didn't say to cut it, right? Like, we're just putting- Pop the cocktail with the mixture and garnish with coriander. All right, um... Okay. Dump the full thing. Don't get, yeah, just, just one tentacle bridge. Put one tentacle on that one, because we have, still have half of it in this. You garnish your own, you garnish mine. Quite that much myself. Come on. All right. Come on. It's all coming together. It's been an honor. It's been a... Side. I do not taste the alcohol in this. It's hot. It was the squid raw? I think we should try it as the AI obviously intended, which is to consume the tendrils with a sip. been the shrimp and squid cocktail, seafood and squid cocktail. It smells uh, boozy, but I'm sure it tasted great, and uh, those gents sure did uh, enjoy it. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Comments below. Is calamari squid? I feel like it's different. Comment is squid. If it is, say no. If it isn't, use hashtag is it squid.